everybody. I'm Susie Slasher, and this is Justine Believer. Hi! We're going to have a great show today, aren't we? <laughs> Justine, <laughs> why are you wearing a hard hat? Well, haven't you heard? The world's going to end in September 2015. Where did you hear that? Everywhere. They're like, for blood moons, is Jade Helm thing. We all now, know that that's probably just a conspiracy now, theory. They had all... Skyfall a couple of years ago, so we know the sky is going to fall. James Bond. These things are rampant on the internet. I think my head's going to be safe. You know. We know that everything is secure. Our government is going to take good care of us. Right, everybody? Let's hear it. Uh-huh. So we're prepared because we're informed. We have the internet, and you know everything on there is making us safer. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Justine, why do you have a black eye? Don't you know it's the latest fashion? Justin! I Justin. didn't do it. <laughs> Justin. <laughs> Justin had a photo shoot, and he was all banged up. Don't you know it's the latest fashion for all the celebrities to do that? I mean, we may have thought it was... Absolute just violence a couple of years ago with Rihanna and Chris Brown, but now Rihanna's glorified it with Bitch Better Have My Money! And I love that song that's on my iPod and all that. <laughs> so you're saying that it's in fashion to have a shiner? Yeah, whether it's real or not. I mean, I don't know if Justin's a real, but I didn't want to give myself a real shiner. I thought it would have been a little strange if I got around with a clown man. Oh my god! Uh, that's a sign. <laughs> There's nothing bad going to happen. Like a clown mask or a knife like Justin had. I thought I'd go with the shiner. That would make more sense, like, probably speaking. That's more acceptable. You can get through TSA security with one of these. <laughs> How do you know that? No, I, I didn't ask that. Anyway, enjoyed our show last time with Kim Kardashian, and you and she made up, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. anyway, she went bare for one of her photo shoots for Vogue Spagna. Uh huh. Well, if anybody. She had a pregnant glow about her. <laughs> I hear they had. Did these... I read the teleprompter right? <laughs> a wide angle lens. <laughs> Lesbianish photograph. She took Justin's face, his gorgeous face, and he took Taylor Swift, Taylor Swift's face, and she swapped them and said they'd make a beautiful lesbian couple. Now what the f is up with that? That's not nice. You would never do that. I think that. you would smoke me way too much weed, Miley. Or is it Molly? I don't know what she's been smoking. You know she's been smoking. Miley and Molly. <laughs> Well, she does well, maybe she's been hanging out with Snoop Dogg. Here you go, model. Uh, speaking of which... That's why his head is swelling more and more. Apparently the Canadians agree with me. They don't want Kanye either. <laughs> I heard they that. have 32,000 signatures saying they don't want Kanye to come over and sing at their whatchamacallit concert. I can't remember what concert it is, but generally Canada doesn't want you, Kanye. Justine, you would know the answer to this. Wasn't it just about a year ago that there was a petition sent to Washington, D.C. asking that Justin Bieber go back to Canada? Yes! They wanted to deport Justin back to Canada. But that's I was one of the ones campaigning to have the Americans deported. Like, what? <laughs> yes, the I Americans... I see you doing that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you want to deport Americans to Canada... Ariana Grande hates Americans. Yes. Youth! <laughs> Wasted upon the young. <laughs> but we like donuts! <sighs> they like donuts. Time to make the donuts. Anyway, Justine, how do you feel about this video of Planned Parenthood? I don't know. I don't like that. Babies being aborted and cut up. It sounds all very x file -ish and sci fi -y. Maybe we're going on to the next DNA infarction where we're going to raise the vibration of the planet. You never know. You know, Operation Jade Helm, maybe that's what they're really doing down there. That's you know, the Texians are burying their weapons so that martial law can't be instated. All of the newscasts say that they're crazy. <laughs> Except they did this 
seen tanks, they've seen a whole lot of things. I don't know what that's about. They seem to be moving a lot of equipment to Walmart and something about Target and kind of Canada. What is it with the Canadians? They want their things up there with their maple leaf thing, whatever that operation is, and they want, don't want Kanye. It's a military operation. Yeah. They have to do these things. They know how they can best protect us in case of emergency. That's yeah. all. For all of us smart Americans, they have to protect us so the Europeans don't steal us. Justine, hmm? I hope everybody, as per the last show, looked up those dog meat and cat meat eating festivals around the world and signed every petition that you could sign. Uh-huh. Google it. Look them up. There are plenty out there. You don't want to stop. Obama sleeping with anybody else. <laughs> well, anyway, look for those petitions. It's very important. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Along with GMOs. Who eats organic here? I think that's the only way that we're going to be able to go. We don't know where our meat is coming from. It gets yeah. processed over in China. But it's, it's safe when it gets here, mind you, because it's on our American store shelf. Mind you, Obama won't sleep with the Chinese, but he'll let them wash your chickens. <laughs> <laughs> you, have, <laughs> you have a point. <laughs> Justine, how do you feel about honeybees? Well, that's another subject. You should really look up bees. Slowly but surely, they are being exterminated because of all the pesticides in this country. Morgan Freeman opened a bee farm last year. He did? Yeah. Well, good for him. That's good. I'd like to do that, too. But for now, all we can do is sign those petitions. Mm -hmm. Stop using those nasty chemicals. It's bad enough for poisoning ourselves. We're going to kill all the bees. And the yeah. birds. Bats. You name it. The monarch butterfly. Monarch, we don't want to discuss that word on TV because then we get into all sorts of conspiracy stuff with the mind control slaves. And why are we talking about Jade Helm again? You told me not to mention that on TV without saying that they're all crazy about what they really think it is. Because that's just a military operation. Right. Ha! Huh. They call me crazy. <laughs> you must keep yourself grounded. Now, this yeah. might be a sensitive subject, so yeah. don't go after me. But what do you think about Justin Bieber posting Kelly Ripa's pictures saying she's hot? Well, if you're going to talk about a mother, you'd like to f that's fine. You know what, Justin? Are you okay? I think it's time for a break. <laughs> there are photos of me to ogle Justin. Find them. <laughs> and so, America, I think we all got to be cognizant that there are crazy people out there. There are smart people out there, and then there are the ones that are told to read teleprompters. I, for one, won't do it except for to say Kim Kardashian's glowing. Teleprompters? The only way that woman would glow is if she swallowed one of those phosphorus glow sticks. Teleprompters come in she very... She sucks up attention like there's no tomorrow. Teleprompters come in very useful, though. Ariana Grande had one running when she made her second apology to Sorry Babes. Yeah. Anybody see that? The mirror behind her? Yeah. yeah. Sorry, nice babies, touch. I have the biggest eyeballs anybody's ever had, and I'm so adorably cute, and I spit on things. Well, thank you for coming to our show today. <coughs> and we'll see you again next week. Have a great weekend, everybody. Make it great. I'm Susie Slosher. <laughs> Signing off with Justine Believer. <laughs> <laughs>